Hello, everyone. My name is Qing Ye Zhao from Nanjing University. Today, I will be talking about our paper, Verifying Natural Network Controlled Systems Using Natural Networks. This is a joint work with Xin Chen, Zhuo Yu Zhao, Yifan Zhang, Nanyi Tang, and Xuan Dongli. Let us first understand what is natural network control system. The figure shows an example. It consists of a natural network as a controller and a dynamical system as a plant. The controller receives the real-time system state X and outputs control signal U to control the system. Given the ICF region, the problem is that can the system trajectory starting from the initial states reach the ICF region? We need a safety verification to check this problem. Following, we start to introduce the definition of the items of natural network control system. We first introduce the natural network. A feed for the natural network is a turbo X, W, B, phi. For each hidden layer, let zk denote the neuron value before applying activation functions. The forward propagation of natural network is pushed layer by layer. x0 is the natural network input, and the output n x0 is the output layer value xn. A natural network controller system S is a tuple x cosine i f n. x denotes the system variables. Poseidon denotes the system space of X. I in Poseidon denotes the initial states. F denotes the vector field. N denotes the natural network controller. The system evolution is defined by F and N. There are two main categories of solutions for safety verification of natural network control system. The one is based on reachability analysis. The key idea is to compute the system reachable set for each time step t and ensure that the reachable set doesn't intersect with the IC reading. The other category is based on barrier certificate. A barrier certificate is a function that separates reachable set from the IC reading. As the existence of a barrier certificate proves that the IC reading is not reachable, the safety verification problem can be transformed into the problem of barrier certificate synthesis. We first talk about the conditions that a barrier certificate should satisfy. A barrier certificate B should satisfy three conditions. The first and the second conditions require B is post-PU and non-post-PU on the IC printing and the initial states, respectively. The third condition implies during system evolution, Bx cannot become a positive state. That is, the system trajectories will not cross the line Bx equals zero to reach the IC ringing. If there is a barrier certificate, the system is safe. So how to find a barrier certificate for the natural network control system? This work adopts natural network to represent barrier certificate. As shown, the optimization problem granting that a uh, n plus one layer natural network is a barrier certificate for system S. In this optimization problem, the first three const constraints correspond to the barrier certificate conditions and the remaining constraints are forward propagation of natural network controller and barrier certificate. If a group of weight matrix W and BIOS vectors B are found, the natural network is a barrier certificate. Now we introduce our approach to synthesizing natural network barrier certificates. The natural network is trained on training datasets. We generate training datasets and construct those functions on them. Then we train the natural network to satisfy the barrier certificate conditions. After network training, we get a candidate barrier certificate. Since the candidate is trained on the training datasets, it may not be a real barrier certificate on the whole system. We need to verify it. We equal the barrier certificate conditions into a set of optimization problems and solve them. 
if we get the expected results, the candidate is a real barrier certificate and the system is safe. Otherwise, the current examples are returned to training datasets to retrain the candidate. The following, we first talk about how to train a candidate barrier certificate. The natural network barrier certificate receives an input x and outputs dx. The input x denotes the state value of the system. So the neural number of input layer is the same as the number of system variables. Hidden layers can contain arbitrary number of layers and neurons. The output layer has one neuron, denoting the barrier certificate output dx. To train the candidate, we need to generate training datasets corresponding to three barrier certificate conditions. We generate three datasets from IC training in interstates states and system space. For the third dataset, the constraint dx equals zero is too strict. We relax it using two positive number eta1 and eta2. We also explore the system trajectories to help to synthesize barrier certificate. Then dataset d4 and d2 are merged. Now we construct those functions on training datasets. According to barrier certificate condition, the expected barrier certificate output dx on d1 should be positive. We construct loss L1 to try to satisfy this condition. The loss L2 and L3 are constructed similarly. Then the overall loss is a combination of three parts. We minimize the overall loss to get a candidate natural network barrier certificate. Since the candidate is trained on the training datasets, we need to verify whether it is a real one on the overall system. We consider three barrier certificate conditions for the candidate. We can verify the following condition to check whether the candidate satisfies the barrier certificate condition. Now we come to verify the first condition. Recall the natural network for the propagation. We transform the verification to an optimization problem to minimize xn on x0. The constraints encode the behavior of the natural network. If the minimum value is greater than zero, the first condition is verified to be satisfied. This work mainly uses ReLU activation functions. We use the MIP coding of ReLU. Then ReLU is represented as a set of linear and binary constraints. The original problem is transformed into a MIP problem to minimize xn on x0. If the minimum value of the MIP problem is greater than 0, the verification succeeds. However, get the global optimum is difficult. Instead, we consider the current optimum. During optimization, the optimizer in real time returns an error bound C. If C is less than Y and P is not equal to 0, P and P star have the same size. If current optimum P is greater than 0 and error C is less than Y, global optimum P star is greater than 0. The first barrier certificate condition is verified to be satisfied. The verification of the second barrier certificate condition is similar with the first one. We also transform it to a MIP problem. When solving this problem, if current optimum P is less than 0 and error C is less than 1, the second barrier certificate condition is verified to be satisfied. Now we consider the third barrier certificate condition. Based on the inner product form of the derivative, we get an optimization problem. For this problem, if current optimum P is less than 0 and error C is less than 1, the third barrier certificate condition is verified to be satisfied. We now find the encoding of the derivative of dx0 to x0. Based on the natural network border propagation, we get the backward propagation. Then applying the chain rule, we get the derivative computation. The mainly used activation function is ReLU. 
recall the MIP decoding of the rule. We can find that the value of binary variable t equals the ReLU prime x. We replace phi prime x with t and get the computation. Then the optimization problem is solved by the solver. We implement a safety verification tool, NetBC, and compare it with the polynomial method over six natural network controller systems. NetBC verifies all six examples, while polynomial method verifies three. The experimental results show that NetBC is more effective and scalable, especially when verifying the safety for largest co natural network controller systems. Concluding all this work, we propose the construction conditions of natural network barrier certificates for natural network controller systems, which enables natural networks to be used as barrier certificates for safety verification of those systems. We provide a novel approach to synthesizing natural network barrier certificates, which trains the candidate natural networks and verifies them through MIP problem solving. We implement uh, the safety verification tool, NetBC, and uh, evaluate its performance on six benchmark examples. The experimental results show that NetBC is more effective and uh, scalable than the existing polynomial method. That's all. Thank you very much.